you love. Leftover bread and to alleviate the guilt of having bread that we haven't fully utilised. What I do with leftover bread is that I, I cut it into small sizes, maybe like this. I keep one bag of croutons, keep it in the freezer. There may be some I would cut into small rounds for crostini, just a little topping of tomato. And then the other big mixed up bits I keep in a separate bag and from time to time when it gets quite full I just make breadcrumbs, like instant breadcrumbs in the freezer. To make some homemade croutons. They're fantastic in the soup, fantastic on their own. You can sprinkle some cheese on top. Just absolutely delicious. Now, what I'm going to do is rest them in the oven and a really quick way to get a nice even coating of oil without actually adding too much oil. Let's just put some oil into a plastic bag. Like imagine that a, a spoon perhaps. The flavour for today is garlic. We're going to have garlic croutons. I've got one clove of chopped garlic here. You can add two if you want to, depending on how much you like it. There it is with the oil. Now I have some bread that I've just cut into rough cubes. Any bread, you can mix up varieties of bread. I think I have two types of baguette mixed in here. One is older than the other. It's absolutely fine, it's going to dry out anyway. Pour them into the bag. Place all your croutons into the bag. This is a fun bit. You can do it yourself. Kids might like to do it. Sit in the bag. You can use any kind of a bag. It's in good shape. In the process, I'm actually covering the bread cubes with garlic oil. Delicious. These are fantastic on salads also. So if you're having a lovely healthy salad, you don't really maybe want to eat too much bread alongside. It's a great way of feeling that you're having your daily bread, not too much bread. There we go. Uh, you have to keep a careful eye. Every bread is different depending on how dry it is. It takes longer or shorter to cook, but I can smell them now. Oh my word, I wish you could smell that they are illegal. Absolutely delicious. Now I can see by touching them, they're slightly they're toasty, but I'd like them to be a bit more golden. So put them back in. You can set your timer for five minutes just to remind you. I don't think they're going to take more than five minutes. Right, just going to check the croutons, they're smelling fabulous. There we go. See that extra couple of minutes gets that gorgeous golden. So don't cook them any longer. Because funnily enough, even though you take them out of the oven, they continue ever so slightly because they're still warm. Delicious. To assemble our soup, I love these little lids, this is very rich. What I'll do first, uh, for myself, I'm going to have some meatballs. Put your hands in, don't forget, made with love. Um, a small spoon of tomatoes. A spoon of tomatoes. A pinch of basil, love basil. And then we'll serve our soup. Nice and generous. It's a thick soup. To make sure you have all this gorgeous grain, pasta, cabbage, veggies, pile it up nice and high. Now, take some stock at the very end. And again, a little more. Sprinkle on a few croutons. Just be generous. They sit down, and there's a last little delicious, amazing flourish. Freshly grated parmesan. Do, do shape it. The more interesting, the more generous. Grate a few on the side if that's what you fancy
Who needs a burger anyway? Absolutely divine. Crouton, meatball, parmesan cheese. Incredible. In itself, it's a canopy. You don't need to make this super tall. Mmm. Dinner. Dinner. Have this.